channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. The Glendale, California School District has voted to recognize Pride Month, which of course is a good thing, because having acceptance and learning about LGBT human rights is extremely important. But there's a small minority fraction of Americans, mainly, mainly, dishonest red pill right wingers, who would say things that are bigoted. And ignorant at best, and these anti-LGBT protesters have escalated this protest by fighting pro-LGBT protesters over what is really being taught in school, and these red pill right wingers are not really educated on something that they don't know. And love to spin a completely false narrative. Nick Merckx is a Twitch streamer who's known for being in Face Clan, that live streams video games like Call of Duty, which is what he mainly streams live. So I was aware of something I saw on YouTube the other day after it happened, because he responded in a way that, in my view, was bigoted and ignorant. And when I initially heard about this and read that tweet, I initially thought it was vague, because I didn't really know what it was until I read an article from Forbes. That says it is a reference to a common Republican talking point, alleging that the LGBTQ community is "quote unquote" grooming children by ed- by education by educating them about the existence of sexual and gender identity. And I just gotta say that it has nothing to do with grooming. And it has nothing to do with indoctrinating children. Call of Duty League commentator Pocket said in a quote tweet: "This happened four blocks from my Overwatch League apartment. Americans are in a sad place right now. Let people love whom they love and live your own life." See, now that's a W take that I can agree with. So Nick Kolchev, which is Nick Nurse's real name, tweeted, "They should leave little children alone. That's a real issue." No, I extremely disagree with that take because it genuinely, it genuinely, truly incentivizes someone who hates. LGBTQ people to go kill them or beat them up, just like what was happening in Glendale, California. Ignorx is very ignorant and out of place. The way Ignorx responded to the tweet shows that he's not entirely educated about something that he didn't read in the first place about Glendale, California school districts. Portable document file on that curriculum. Then Bucket says, "Who is A, and what terrible act is everyone afraid of?" I hope, I think, such hope, the goal of most of them, is to reduce child suicides. This is done through acceptance and removing the stigma of. Feeling slash being different. As a dad, I'm struggling to see the harm. Gay doesn't equal pedo. Then, of course, Nick Merckx didn't reply back 
to actually clarify his stance, which was a bit rude in my opinion, because if someone asked you a question, the least he could do is respond, since he commented on tweet. Nick, you're a smart dude. Recognizing a month as Pride Month so that kids learn to be accepting of all people from a young age and normalizing differences can only be a good thing, right? I remember LGBTQ kids being harassed so much growing up. This is a step to m mitigate that. This. The motion that Nick Merckx had to say the same tired as claim that folks with feeble minds have been saying for decades and decades now is a dangerous thing to an audience as big as his. N need to be educated about everything because learning something in school won't turn someone gay and won't turn someone trans because teaching acceptance and tolerance for everyone is a valuable life skill for all ages. And openly being homophobic and transphobic instead of letting people have their safety and acceptance is why it is incredibly harmful and wrong to say when you steal hateful garbage with such a big following. It's a bad take you make when you start spreading anti-LGBTQIA rhetoric. This was a school acknowledging gay and trans kids exist. Therefore, kids should be taught about what it means to be LGBTQIA and what it means to be heterosexual. And no, transgender people and members of the LGBTQ plus community in general are not automatically P-E-D O P H I L E S or predatory. In fact, the majority of people who prey on children are cisgender heterosexual men. I didn't like what I was seeing, man. Okay, it, it, I, I saw I saw parents bra brawling in front of a fucking school with kids. It, it, I just didn't I just didn't I just didn't fucking like it. You know, I'm sure a lot of you guys can understand how that that video would piss some people off. It pissed me off. Okay, uh, now, I mean, full full transparency. You know, I like how do I put this. I'm gonna be very very careful here. I don't want to piss anybody off. I'm making a lot of people mad. Most of my intention. But Nick Nurks, you already pissed a lot of people off with that dis disingenuous take you made on Twitter. I mean, listen, you, we, my wife and I just had a baby, brand, brand new father. You know, we, we, we seen these kinds of videos. It's, it's, it's sad, you know, um, but her and I agree that we, we want to be the ones to talk to our kid about things like that what conversation is happening this is about teaching kids who are different from those who aren't gay trans bisexual lesbian etc this is about teaching the youth acceptance most parents who say they're gonna have a conversation with their kid about it are likely to not have these talks because they haven't learned about anything like that in their life. Most parents never have a conversation with their child, with their children, about acceptance and tolerance. I'm trying to keep it really simple, just so we don't have to get too crazy about it, because there's nothing to get crazy about. It's just, it, it really is that simple. It's too late for that, Nick. It's too late for that. You are being crazy about it. I think I just have a like a bigger perspective on this now 
being a parent than I than I did maybe two months ago. What perspective do you have if you never even learned or read what is being taught in school? So you know the video bothered me, right? And that's that's uh, I just don't think it's any place for a teacher or a school. I don't think it's the place to speak about things like that. And it's not that I think that it shouldn't be spoken about. If the video bothered you, then why didn't you say that these anti-LGBTQ protesters were antagonizing the LGBTQ protesters? And you're totally wrong that it's not a place that shouldn't be taught in schools because if we straight children back in the early days of 2005 in second grade or in 2006 in third grade were taught about how our human autonomy works then it's obvious that our children today should be taught by our teachers on how to treat transgender youth with respect kindness and acceptance. And that's what the Glendale, California School District is actually allowing their teachers to teach the Glendale children, most of who are straight, about the existence of the LGBTQ people. If that's what you got from that tweet, then you're just wrong. I don't have any quarrel with anybody in here. I don't have any quarrel with people on the internet um it wasn't an anti i guess gay 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 tweet that wasn't what it was that's exactly what it was i hate to disagree with you but that's exactly what it was when you said they should leave little children alone you are explicitly referring to transgender people moreover it's an anti-transgender tweet um now, listen, if you have issues with me or if you have issues with that tweet, then, hey, listen, I'm down to agree to disagree. That's fine. We can agree to disagree. But if you think that I hate you because you're you're a certain way, you just couldn't be any more wrong. That's not the truth. Unfortunately, that is the truth because right wingers have been on a roll to demonize trans people for, for many years now and tweets like this whether or not you think it's not demonizing to trans people can actually and unfortunately be interpreted as that meaning that the transgender people do look at it as someone hating them just because transgender people aren't straight i've said things in my past i've done things in my past we all have okay people grow people get better it's part of life man okay and i've grown a lot as a human being on planet. i'm sure we all have okay i i i I do not feel that way i just simply feel that i want to be the one and my wife wants to be the one to speak with our child about stuff like that the unfortunate reality is when because again Parents who say they're going to have a conversation with their kid about it are most likely to not have these talks because they haven't learned about anything like that in their life. And that was that was that was the tweet. That was the tweet. You can take the tweet if you want and you can spin it, flip it, flop it, quote tweet it. You can put 10 paragraphs on top of it. You can do whatever you want to it to make you feel better if that's what you want to do. But that was the tweet. OK. So if you came here to hear that, I hope I hope you feel a little better about it. I didn't mean to upset anybody. I know that I did. I'm not apologizing about the tweaks. I don't feel like I'm I don't feel like it's wrong. I'm going to stand by what I said. I'm not going to delete the tweet. You know, I just want to make sure everybody understands exactly the point I was trying to make. It was wrong, in my opinion, because it was negatively affecting the public who are transgender and not apologizing and standing by what you said counts as negligence. The point you were trying to make is very disingenuous at best. By tweeting 
by tweeting my response. You know, and I, I, I do, I do want to apologize to Puckett though. I, I, I feel like I kind of, I might have brought a little bit of shit his way, man. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. Like I'm saying, man, it's, I look down at that little, that little homie in that other room in there, bro. It's my whole world now. You know, it's a different perspective. I know a lot of you guys know it firsthand, but for those that don't, it's a different perspective. Having a different perspective to be bigoted and transphobic is an indefinite common theme that has been plaguing onto the American people for decades and decades and decades. Nick lived the biggest W of the year. Nope, he made the biggest L take of the year. Same, as much as people try and find a way to get offended at it, the end, at the end of the day, he respectfully shared his opinion and then stood his ground. Because tweets like Nick Merckx's are a huge way to signal right-wingers who want to ruin trans people's lives by eradicating them from existence. And if you still find his opinion respectful, then you do not understand why Nick Merckx is ignorant. We need more strong men like him in society. No, American society doesn't need a strong man who would say bigoted things. A strong man would be an ally to the transgender people and speak against the bigotry, transphobia, and the hatred. And maybe the world wouldn't be so fucked up. Pistol Pete 2506 really doesn't understand now, does he? Because the world has been fucked up years long before people like him agreed with someone's bad take when that person mentioned they should leave little children alone by falsely accusing transgender people. A group of people that are different don't become pedos just because they transition to a different gender. A sane person would know that a priest and prey on child and go to jail. But I guess you'd rather be a dumb fuck and agree with Mick Merckx instead of looking at the bigger picture. And if you did look at the bigger picture as to why tweets like Mick Merckx are the fucking problem in our society, then maybe the world wouldn't be so fucked up. Call of Duty says, due to recent events, we have removed the McMurk's operator bundle from the Modern Warfare 2 and War Warzone's store. We are focused on celebrating pride of our employees and our community. And that's exactly why they should do that. Call of Duty and Activision have the right to disassociate from a popular Call of Duty streamer and con content creator if they feel the need to, and rightfully so, they did. But if you think that Call of Duty shouldn't remove McMurks's upgrade bundle, then you're just wrong because that would mean that Call of Duty publisher Activision would, and above all, support bigotry, transphobic rhetoric, and hatred. Corey Steyer, who is an Activision employee, said, Proud to work where I work today. Based. The only real issue is that what the children 
art being taught in school isn't grooming, nor is it indoctrination, which is nothing at all. The real issue is that the kids should learn about the LGBTQ or specifically transgender people about being who they are and that they exist. And if a child as young as 13 wants to have QD blockers, then that's their own decision, not the parent. A parent doesn't have to step in to make the decision for their child to have QD blockers. Only their child can because a child can make their own decisions about having a parent to overstep their child's boundaries. Children shouldn't be protected from something that is already 100% safe. And calling the entire LGBTQ community pedos and groomers is extremely misleading because you're painting a group of people that are not pedos and not groomers and that has to stop. You can't just say words like that that like that all nearly willy nilly about something that you're obscure about. The, the motion that the transphobic supporters in the gaming community supported Nick Merckx's, Mick Merckx's tweet is absolutely reprehensible at best. To make this poorly educated take that they should leave the little children alone is not a real issue when it comes to transitioning into a different opposite sex. And as I said before, if a child as young as 13 wants to have puberty blockers, then that's their own decision, not the parent. A child as young as 13 should make their own decisions about, about having a parent to overstep their child's boundaries. Transgender youth has existed for a long period of time, and you can't stop a child from wanting to become a new person. And I am proud of Activision and Call of Duty for standing their ground and not backing down to the right-wing Christian, conservative Christian, anti-LGBT gamers mob. Because had Activision kept their Nick Merck's operator bundle, the company would be called out for supporting a statement that is ignorant and bigoted. So at the end of the day, if you want to put the blame on this situation, blame McMurks for saying they need to leave the little children alone, that's the real issue. Because had he not said that tone deaf statement, Activision would keep the Call of Duty operator bundles. <laughs>